Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and let's get started showing you how to multibox Heroes of the Storm with IS Boxer. So first of all, check the inner space menu and make sure you have Heroes of the Storm listed. If you do not, then use Add Game to put it there. Normally you can drag the desktop icon for Heroes of the Storm directly into the Add Game window, but in this case, I'm going to show you how to skip the launcher by going to Open File Location, and in the Support or Support 64 folder, find the Heroes Switcher file and drag that into the hero into the Add Game window. Click OK, and now in the Inner Space menu, we should have Heroes of the Storm, and we're ready to go into IS Boxer Toolkit. So in IS Boxer, go to the Wizards menu and select the Quick Setup Wizard and we're going to set up Heroes of the Storm. Which characters will form this team? Now for Heroes of the Storm, uh, we don't actually have to name the actual characters, so this is just going to identify the accounts that we're going to play. I'm going to play two accounts, and I'll just name them HOTS1 and HOTS2. That makes it easy. Click Next. Choose a name for your team. You can make this just as simple. It's just going to be for you to identify this as your Here's the Storm team when you're launching later on. So click Next. Uh, this is the window layout setup page, and there's a lot of layouts that you can choose from the examples. And I'm going to set up a use video effects, uh, the, a video effects based window layout. So what that's going to do is let me find the one I want here. Okay, so on these smaller windows, they're just going to be shown as views of the windows. The actual windows are going to stay large and all up here. Uh, so there's just going to be a window down here that has uh, interactive views of each of the game windows, and those are going to be the small uh, pieces. So that will also help us, uh, if you want a picture of, say, the mini-map from your window 2, if you want that in, in part of the main window there, you can uh, set that up with video effects. So maximum frame rate, it may help you to set the background and the foreground to the same number here, and that's going to help synchronize the mouse broadcasting. Since this game, uh, you're pretty much going to be broadcasting the mouse the entire time to move around to click. Uh, as far as down here, the basic strategy is to select all CPUs with every window. And go ahead and click Next. How would you like to control the game? Uh, it's going to default to generic broadcasting for Here's the Storm. That's the one we want. There are other options, which are mostly used for uh, MMOs and other types of games. So the hotkeys, you're going to use Shift-Alt-R to toggle broadcasting mode, and Shift-Alt-M to toggle uh, various hotkeys. So you may want to check the Broadcasting Toggle Effects All Windows button, and that way, when you're switching between back and forth between your game windows, uh, it won't be where Window 1 has broadcasting mode turned on and broadcasting mode mode is off in window 2, uh, so it'll just be the same in all windows. Individual window control is going to let you hold a key in order to control individual windows. So I'm going to be able to press F1 to control window 1 while it's held, and hold F2 to be able to control window 2 while that's held. Click Finish. Now there's a couple of things I'd like to show you real quick. In your character set, there is a hotkey that will switch to each individual window. So in slot 1, Control Alt 1 is the default hotkey to switch to the first window, and Control Alt 2 is the default hotkey to switch to window 2. And that's helpful for me, uh, just switching back and forth between the game windows without uh, clicking and moving the mouse all the way across the screen to switch. So under Key Maps, I'm going to set up custom hotkeys uh, so that I can individually use the abilities for my hero in window 1 um, and window 2 separately. Now that's just going to be the easiest way to play two characters in Here's the Storm. So custom hotkeys, right click on map keys to bring up map key wizard, and I'm going to start with straight key broadcast to set up Q, W, E, and R for window 1. So press key combination here, Q, W, E, and R. It's going to set up all four of those to go to window 1. Uh, for window 2, we're going to remap um, I'm going to use the keys Z, X, C, and V. Obviously, some of those are in-game key bindings, like Z is the mount and V is for uh, retreat, but you can use whatever keys you like, whatever is convenient for you. Um, this is uh, just to show you how, how it can work very easily for the demo. So, map keys, map key wizard, and for these, we're going to key remap. So, we're going to remap Z to press Q in window 2, 
We're going to do the same thing for the other ability keys. Key remap x to send w to window 2. Remap c to send e to window 2. Remap V to send R to window 2. So that sets up everything we need in IS Boxer Toolkit. Now we can go to File and select Export All to Interspace, and that loads it up in our Interspace configuration. Uh, so now we select Hots Duo, that's my team name from the IS Boxer Character Sets menu, and now it starts to launch. Okay, so my windows are up, and I've got this third window down here for the video effects. Um, and real quickly, I'll explain, when you move the mouse down here, this is uh, using Focus Follows Mouse, so we're actually in a different window at the bottom of the screen. And if you Alt-click on these in the video effects layout, that's how you're going to switch between windows in the main area of the screen. Um, whereas normally if you use a regular window layout with actual windows down here instead of just the views, um, you would be able to just left click and it would uh, move the windows. Let's see, now you have the mouse moving in those windows. You can interact with these windows individually uh, down here or up here if you turn off broadcasting. So to, in order to log in, I'm going to go ahead and turn off key maps um, and broadcasting so I can fix my account name here. Um, if your passwords are the same, you can use broadcasting mode to log in. Oops, typo. Okay, once you're logged in, turn on key maps. This is kind of in the way, so I'm going to go ahead and move it. If you press Control shift alt g uh, then you can move this wherever you like and press the Sync button to put it in the same spot in the other window. Uh, Control shift alt g will hide that again. So the first thing I'm going to do now is get in a group together, invite to party, switch to the other window and accept. And now I can go into a versus AI. I'm just going to do the simplest thing we can uh, just to show you how the, this works for the demo. And we're ready to go. Okay, once you're in the game, it is super easy to move your characters around together uh, with broadcasting mode. Uh, you can obviously get split up. Now my characters are in a completely different spot. You can even go different directions. Um, but using the mini-map all together, you can right-click on any spot in there and your characters will go to exactly the same spot. So it's really easy to group back up. Um, I'll go ahead and take the middle lane. Um, I can show you real quick, if I hold F1, then I'm only controlling window 1. Select my talent, and window 2, I can do the same thing. Um, there, and I'm going to have to see what my talents are. I, I don't know off the top of my head, Nazebo's new talents. Alright, so for the most part, I'm, I'm actually going to ignore the talents as I'm multiboxing in this game since it's super easy uh, AI and everything. But I can go ahead and use all my abilities individually. Uh, and so it's super easy to coordinate. As long as you remember uh, your hotkeys for the different characters then it's really no problem to um, bounce in and use your abilities real quick. So obviously different combinations of characters will work better than others. Um, and the ones I've selected, Malfurion and Zebo, it's just kind of an easy combination that 
Um, I'm familiar with the characters, and they kind of have similar ranged abilities. Malfurion's a healer, obviously, so it's different than Nazebo, but you've got um, a ranged attack and a root, and so they do have some kind of similar mechanics. So I'll be playing this whole game, but um, I'm going to end the video uh, since there's really not much else to look at right now. But uh, So that's pretty much it. If you have any trouble getting started with this game, please come to the IS Boxer chat room or the IS Boxer forums or even the IS Boxer Discord and um, we can help you get going. Um, it'd be super easy right now. World of Warcraft has a uh, special mount you can earn by doing 15... Uh, games together with one of your Battle.net friends, which I'm doing with myself now, so um, I'll earn that mount soon, and hopefully you guys will too, and I'll see you online.